What is going on lawn crew? It's Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service. Today I'm going to show you how to install the new equipment defender blower rack on a trailer with a tube frame right after this. Thank you for watching this video today. Please hit that subscribe button and join the lawn crew. Also make sure that you show that like button some love. Be sure to check out our lawn care wear shop on Teespring. The link is in the description below. You guys are going to love the shirts there. If you enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so this is the new Equipment Defender blower rack and we are going to mount it on my trailer and it has the tube top, <laughs> interesting tube top, um, and so I've already pre-drilled some holes here. Let's see if I can get it down here to see. So there's one. There's the other. And I have to use this thing here, this bar, to hang to actually mount the blower rack on. Because, as you can see, I tried to just mount the rack on here. But that was a dumb idea, and I wish I would have never drilled these holes, but I did. So I might have to find a friend or somebody that can throw a weld in there just to plug that up. But we're going to get this thing installed, so let's go. So the first thing we want to do is put the bar on, clean off some of the stuff that's on it. We're just going to line up the holes here. And Equipment Defender does give you all of the hardware that you're supposed to need. Alright, now I'm going to go underneath here. We're going to put on the, lot, the nylon nuts here that, we, that need to go on the bottom. Now I do want to mention that the additional bar is sold separately so you do have to pay for that uh, when i purchased my blower rack at the gie expo the guy that i purchased it from did say something about a mounting kit or something like that for a trailer with the pipe edges or the pipe top but they said it wasn't ready yet he said he would put it in the notes and so when my blower came that mount didn't come with it and so I contacted Equipment Defender and they were so gracious. They sent me this, this additional kit for free. Now, I would not expect that for you guys, but I do know that their customer service is outstanding. And that is something that I really look for in a company. And I was very impressed with the Equipment Defender customer service. Thank you, Equipment Defender, so much. I really appreciate it. That is pretty darn solid. Um, I didn't think it would be that solid. But just, uh, just tightening it up from the bottom, it is really stinking solid. I mean, that's not moving at all. All right, now I've actually got to figure out how to mount the blower rack onto the pole because they don't send you any, imp any instructions, nothing like that with this. So that would be the one downfall. If you're a new guy in the industry or you just don't have the mechanical mind, like I don't, you might struggle a little bit with it to figure out how to put it on, but it can't be that hard. So let's go. 
this is actually kind of difficult to put on here because um, I don't have anybody else here to help me. And uh, there we go. Just gonna put this nut on here. And I think that's how it goes. If I'm not mistaken, I think that is how it goes on. And I am mistaken. Okay, I think I got it figured out. I do think I got it. All right, I figured it out and it wasn't too hard. And I will show it to you in just a second here when the hands are free. So you see that there? I just got the holes confused because there's a couple extra holes over here and really I mean it, it certainly does not look lined up right now but that is actually right in the middle as you can see down here with those two holes it is right in the center so that is perfect we're gonna take it so let me tighten this sucker up and I will show it to you when we're all done Beautiful. And now, you got to do one more thing here. And that is, put on this guy on the back side here, like so. I gotta find some uh, bolts for that. I think they might have come with the other kit. We'll see. Okay, well, I've got some bolts here that will work, but I don't have any nuts. So, I don't know what happened because, see, I've got. I've got these two, and these didn't come with nuts either. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if they just didn't come with it or what. But these are basically the same size as the ones that I found in my own toolbox. So I got to come up with that. Well, guys. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's a mystery to me of what I am supposed to use. They came, it came with two nylon washers, or it came with two nuts for here, but not any for here. And I would really like them here because I don't want this thing bouncing back and forth as I'm driving down the road. But again, no instructions, so I don't really know. And that is the one theme that I keep coming back to is that there really should be some instructions for this mounting kit. But that's why I'm doing this video. So let's see if we can't make this thing work. All right, guys, I think I figured it out. These actually came as part of the backpack rack, and I think these are what I use to attach it here. So I'm going to switch these up, see if they fit, and we're going to go from there. Nope. They don't fit. They just simply don't fit in there. They fit in the back side, but they don't fit in the, in the front. Well, that's pretty frustrating. I'm going to be honest. That's pretty frustrating. Okay, guys, so the executive decision has been made. I have to take a trip to Menards to get a couple of these, 
and then I will be back. We will get this thing installed today. In fact, we'll get it installed right now. All right, we are back from Menards and we are going to get this thing hooked up. Sorry about the darkness. We're gonna try to get this thing hooked up with low light here. All right, we are putting this thing back together. I had to go to Menards and get some bolts. Got some washers and some nuts. Let's get this thing on. All right, guys, the new Equipment Defender Blower Rack version two is installed. And this thing is rock solid. I mean, that is not going anywhere. I'm very, very impressed with it. Even though I had to go to Menards and get some parts and pieces and stuff like that, it's still a great blower rack. But I do wish that they would have sent instructions for the mounting bracket. But all in all, it turned out great. I only spent like three or four bucks on nuts and bolts, so not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think it's going to be great, and I think I'm going to like it. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell, because you won't see any of my new videos if you don't hit that notification bell. And if you feel like it, hit that like button. And please let me know in the comments how you like your Equipment Defender racks. And I will see you when I get to blow off some driveways. <laughs>